Hello, YouTube. This is me, Mega44, here with a mod spotlight. We're gonna actually do two mod spotlights in one. The first one I'm gonna show you is too many items. Hold on. This, what I'm typing in right now is a mod called Single Player Commands. Um, but here's too many items. It just basically, um, gives you any block in the game, including water spawners, lava spawners, as in the block, not like in bucket. And it, um, gives you items that you can't, um, get in the game, or mine it, or anything, but you can, like, see it in-game, such as the end portal frame, which is item number 100, 120, and, uh, I, re I do not recommend trying to do this, but the actual portal block. The only reason you probably shouldn't use that, and you should just use the portal frame or just find the a legit portal for the ender, for the end, I mean, is because um, this the portal block itself can be glitchy sometimes, so I would not recommend it. Um... It can give you monster spawners, fire, pretty much any block that you can find in the game, and tools. Yeah. Just pretty much anything you want. And you can save, it's like, let's just say, for instance, I want to save all this. I would just click on one of the seven saves and boom. And I'll be right back when I clear my inventory. That way I can show you what the saves do. Alright, I'm back. Now, let's say I go to a different world. Like, This one. You see, I have all this. Boom. I have all this now. That I had in the other world. So it's a very unique way of getting items you have in an other world. Like, let's say that you mine legitimate items. You just want to save them for another world. That way you don't have to do the same, the same thing. For, like, LP. But, you like, if your world got corrupted and it was your let's play world or something and you and you had items that were valuable in another um, world that you have you could just save those items in the other world and then come back to whatever other world that got corrupted and you had to recreate and boom so that's too many items um, now I'm going to show you um, single player commands Hold on. You can make it day and night. I don't know why you wouldn't make it night though. But it wouldn't make any sense. Um here's all the commands. It's a lot. Um, I believe this mod was created back in the second version of beta. I'm not sure. Um, I'll try to put the thread to the Minecraft forms for both of these mods. I just got single player commands today, but I've been using it ever since I played um, beta and heard about the mods they can get on Minecraft. 
Anyway, um, there's all your commands. It, um, if you ever heard of Bucket, um, there, there's like a plugin for Bucket, which is called World Edit. Well, let's see if I can find, uh, yeah. And there's, it's like the plugin built into, into uh, single player commands to where, like, you can just, like, use World World Edit in single player, 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 though. Like, yeah. It's simple. It's like, yeah. Pretty cool. It's cool. Why did it set at waypoint? Oh, well. Um, yeah. There you go. See you guys later. This is Megan F44 signing out with my first, um, my spotlight. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, people. Anyway, enjoy the mods if I put them in the description. Oh, by the way, if you guys did not know what those were, this is a brewing stand, and this is a cauldron, which don't like me, as you can see. They hate me. They don't like me. Why won't you work? Anyway, if you guys know how to get these things to work, um, PM me on YouTube. Peace.